Hi everyone, it's Sunday. Who's ready to talk about money? We're going to talk about your money mindset today. So, I've got a good feeling. But the music is distracting. So, I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and business and personal success strategist at TotalGenius.net, where I help you discover your genius, which is a combination of your expertise and life experience and build it into a profit-generating business which is based on your purpose. And today, I wanted to talk about, well, the reason you have a business. It's to make money. So we're going to talk about, it's a word, I, uh, two words that I, um, I don't really believe in because I, believe, I, I, I put a little spin on it, but I'll tell you that at the end. So today we're going to talk about your money mindset. It, this is a term that I came across uh, when I became an entrepreneur, that there is such a thing as a money mindset. And many people, uh, particularly um, intelligent and purpose-driven people uh, that may have a fear of selling, um, have a misconception of what it takes to actually make money and uh, why it's important that you understand this critical difference so that you can proceed in your business and make money. And what I call, so, you know, people call it your money mindset. I don't believe you can set your money, your mind on uh, money. I believe it's having a money mind. So it's really about understanding what's going on in your brain. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So at the end of uh, this call or this live stream, you will be able to take the things that I'm teaching you and start incorporating them into your business. Hi, Angela. So uh, I have one sentence for you to start this off, and I just really want you to absorb this. And it's called, uh, nobody is going to pay you to make money. Nobody is going to pay you to make money. So I often hear people, you know, have these like money affirmations and I love money, you know, focus your mind on money, 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 you know, put a dollar bill on people's heads. Uh, no one is going to pay you to make money. So if all you're focused on is money, uh, that could be why this whole fear of selling and fear of appearing sleazy and being uncomfortable with pricing your products and services um, may happen is that uh, making money and having people pay you is actually because you have something that they value. So, in fact, making money and having uh, empowering your money mindset is about not understanding money, but it's about understanding your personal value. Because if you need to sell something of value. Uh, it's not even about selling. It's just about understanding what it is that the people that you speak to want to buy. And particularly, and this is what we're going to dive into in the call, you know, uh, you don't, dis you, well, you can. You can just say, well, I'm going to sell, you know, that widget over there, um, which makes it a very unfulfilling uh, process. But we're going to dive into how you can actually make this something that's fulfilling to you and um, how work it so that it actually works with the way that your brain works. This is, I don't, I don't know that anyone, I, I haven't ever heard anyone talk, I'm sure they have, but I, I haven't ever heard anyone talk about it this way. So I hope that you can have some new insight into um, how to get over this fear of selling, how to get over the fear of speaking about what it is that you do and why this whole thing um, has been mis, uh, misperceived. So most people, they did a study, and most people, most entrepreneurs, think that uh, if only I could just, if only I could just get better at this, uh, you know, so then people go and they try to get all these certifications. If only I could just sell something better. If only I could learn that email system. If only I could have that funnel set up, then I would make money. And in actuality, uh, those things like having a, an uh, understanding email and understanding your sales funnel, those are important, 
But, uh, and, and, and knowing what you do and doing it well is important. But is it true that there are people that are very good at what they do, uh, maybe even you, and who may not be making the amount of money that you see other people that don't seem as good as you making money? Is that true? I mean, I know, particularly I've seen it online, there are many people that just launch out and they start making tons of money. And, you know, here I am with 28 years of business and marketing experience. And, you know, I, I see and I'm like, wow, you know, look at those people go. Because, in fact, it has nothing to do with uh, the, your, um, your expertise, your, again, that is important. But that's not the number one important thing. So I'm going to go into a little um, uh, science and psychology right now. But this, this term, which you may or may not uh, be familiar with, it's, it's called neuroeconomics. Neuroeconomics is actually a newer term that was, um, uh, that was uh, created. And in actuality, it's not as difficult as it sounds if you've ever listened to me speak before because it's kind of about what I speak about. But it's, it's the study of psychology, behavior, economics, and how the brain works. So it's how people make money-making decisions, whether you are on the selling side or you're on the um, receiving side. It, it's how uh, money and things related to money is interpreted through your brain and then through the brain of the person that you're trying to sell to. So neuroeconomics, it sounds really complicated, but it's, it's about the three brains. You know I always try to find a way to incorporate that in. So uh, for those of you that don't know, then clearly this is the first time you've ever watched me. Uh, we have three brains, and not just one like people think. And it's your fear brain, which has no voice. It's the oldest brain, and it, it's, um, it's how everything is processed in the, in, when, when something comes across your, uh, your field. So everything is judged from a place of that fight or flight brain. That brain is trying to judge if it should kill you, eat you, or mate with you. I know that sounds really primal, but uh, I'll show you how that is in a second. The next brain is your emotional brain, which is up here. It has no voice, but that's where your heart felt and gut decisions are made. Decisions, okay? So you have to remember that. It's where your, your emotion lives, and uh, again, it has no voice, but you know, that's when you're really making a true decision, like, like you see chocolate cake and you're like, oh, that looks so yummy, you know. Uh, it's made in the emotional brain. Then there's your, what I call your stupid thinking brain. You know, that's where logic happens. So when you learn something and, you know, you actually absorb it through this brain, but it has to pass through all these other brains first, number one. Number two, I call it your stupid thinking brain because it's also the one that justifies uh, things that you believe are true. So if you believe that selling is really sleazy, this brain, the stupid thinking brain, is going to go, oh my God, of course it is. Look at those, you know, remember those sleazy car salesmen? And oh my God, remember that time you were scammed? And, you know, it's going to come up with all these reasons why selling is sleazy. But it's not, that's, it's not even true. It's just based on your belief. This is why people like uh, my friend Angela Anderson, she has Psyche, which is uh, uh, how, um, how your mind impacts the way your cells express themselves. So, you know, you literally can think your way into um, eating too much, to being fat, to, uh, to having disease and cancer. Like, your mind is quite powerful. So, uh, you know, that stupid thinking brain is coming up with all these justifications and reasons. So if you have this weird concept about money, uh, those are not true thoughts. Those are actually, um, you know, your cognitive dissonance, your, your thinking, your stupid thinking brain just justifying what it is that you truly believe. So why this is important is that uh, when you go and you have your business and you uh, 
want to get your message out to the world, uh, it has to, all that information has to pass through all those things, your fear brain, you know, your, your emotional brain and your stupid thinking brain. So if you, you know, if you have those like thoughts, I hate selling and this is sleazy and, you know, I don't have confidence in, in what I'm doing. Oh, I need to go and get better at that before someone will trust me. Um, then when you go and you try to do your marketing in order to, um, to promote what it is that you have, uh, you, you get very scared. I mean, this is why people, they fear video, fear of, um, uh, you know, selling, selling, fear of promoting their product, fear of having a consultation with someone and saying, you need this fear of putting a price that is worthy of what it is that, that it is. So that, that's what happens on your end. And then what happens on the other person's end is the same thing. They have to go through the fear brain, the emotional brain and the, um, and the stupid thinking brain. So, uh, when, when you go and you present what it is that you have, you know, it's like, is this person going to sell me? I, you know, I, I don't know. So that's the fear brain. If it makes it past that brain and you know, they see, Oh, you know, this person is, seems like trustworthy enough. It goes to that emotional brain where the gut decisions and heart, heartfelt decisions are made. So as I said, in, in number one, no one's going to pay you to make money. They pay for something that they value. That's where uh, this brain comes into play, is that people are looking for something they value. In fact, if your business is positioned correctly, you solve an urgent problem. You know, uh, I help people build a profit generating business based on your, um, on what I call your genius, your expertise in life experience. Because if you don't, you're gonna have, number one, all these different issues of uh, not understanding your value. Number two, this is how decisions are made. So in order to, um, to get your product sold, you have to sell something of value. And my concern is that for my clients is that um, they are selling something that is true to them from uh, a gut-based, heartfelt decision based on their expertise. So your business should solve an urgent problem. When it solves an urgent problem and you specifically know who, who needs your help, then when they hear you speak, you have what they want. That's, um, you have something that they value. At that point, then uh, for the right clients uh, or you know, potential clients, they just, they see, wow, that person has something of value. Then their stupid thinking brain becomes smart and it says, oh, you need that. Oh, you know, that's something that I rec uh, recognize as you don't have. And oh, and it comes up with the excuses of why they need it. So, you know, neuroeconomics is, it, it's a complicated word for how, um, how your mind works. And when you can think about your money mind as uh, once I understand how these three brains work in myself and in that other person, now I have the power to, um, to do what needs to be done in order to, um, to make money. In fact, it's not about, you know, I will make money, I will make money. It's, it's not about that. What you really should be repeating to yourself is, um, I am of value. I, I, ha I am a person of value. I am a person of value because, you know, I teach people how to create their success identity, which is the three to five words, which represent your highest self. You know, how am I being that? How am I being brilliant right now? How am I showing that I know my expertise? How am I, um, you know, how, how am I demonstrating that I know a lot about the mind? How am I, you know, whatever it is. So you choose your three to five words that represent your highest self. And you should be asking yourself those things every day. And then you should ask yourself those things um, before you get up and speak on video. In fact, having a money mindset and empowering it is about empowering yourself to understand how 
good you are. How when you are at your best, you shine. And then you need to understand what it is that you do in your business. So I want to teach you three, three different things that you can do in order to, um, to kind of shift what's going on or empower your money mindset, your money mind, uh, after this call. Like you literally could, uh, can go and like implement this in your business. So number one, uh, we just understood that decisions uh, are made below consciousness. So uh, decisions are made below consciousness. That means that, uh, um, let's see, so that means that there are specific things that you can actually do in your business uh, that will that will hit your, uh, I'd say like target, your, your ideal client and affect them so that they see that what you have is of value. Now, I'm going to just say what you have and what you sell actually needs to be of value. <laughs> and, and so uh, that's a whole different thing. And, uh, you know, I have a lot of information on my website at totalgenius.net if you want to take a look at the library. Uh, I just did a free webinar about um, uh, positioning your, um, yourself to sell. So, uh, and you can sign up for that at positioned.totalgenius.net. So, um, first of all, you have to have something of value. Now, when you go and you do your marketing, if you understand that decisions are made below consciousness, you need to appeal to that emotional brain. So, there are three things that you can do. Uh, there's more, but right now I'm just going to teach you three. Number one is your words. You have to understand the words that, not that you teach, but the words that your ideal clients need to hear. You know, the, like those are like your keywords that you would want on your website. Like for me, you know, it's like making money, uh, um, you know, uh, um, let's see, selling, selling is easy, selling is sleazy. Like uh, I know those words because I have asked people, I have asked my clients, my ideal clients, I understand who, uh, who my ideal clients are. And in fact, I call them BBFs, my best business friends, because I have a very close tie with them. And this is number two, but uh, I'm going to tell you that in a second. I have a very close tie with my BBFs. So I understand the words that they speak. You need to understand uh, the words so that you can write it into your copy. This is about understanding how to be a copywriter. So many people hire out for that, which, you know, I've seen some really great copywriters out there. Personally, um, I think that uh, nobody understands your business like you and nobody can translate the words that your ideal clients need to hear better than you. So, you know, I've seen people write copy for people and it, it may be good copy, but it's not the words that that person would speak. And so there's like a disjointed um, thing happening so that they're not attracting the right people, which, you know, that alone is like horrific. So I'm not saying don't hire a copywriter. I'm saying that, you know, you better hire somebody who understands how you speak and how your ideal clients speak so that you are attracting the right people to you. Because the last thing you want is just to, to attract people that, you know, Spending time uh, trying to market to people who can't even see your value, that just seems like a waste of time. The, the second thing that you need to do uh, to hit that below consciousness brain is to be different. So our human brains love contrast. We love things that just look different. That's our, uh, so, you know, so the fear brain, remember how I said everything passes through there? So back in the caveman days, we actually had to be really good at spotting things that were moving, spotting things that, that were of danger to us because they were going to eat us or, you know, they wanted to mate with it or so, so, something like that. So um, they're looking for something of contrast. 
So if you're, you know, just trying to blend in with everyone on Facebook, if you're following other people and just like, you know, hanging out in groups and you're, you, you may think that you're the most important person in the room, but in actuality, there's 26,000 other people in that same room. And so we, you know, we have our own minds. So we're, you know, we're thinking everyone's seeing things from our point of view, but in actuality, that's not true. So this is again about understanding your value. Because if you don't understand your value and you can't stand out and, and you end up blending in because that's what Facebook is designed to do, that's a problem. That would be a problem because then you, um, first of all, the last thing I want to do is like blend in, fit in, sound vanilla. I, I say that a lot and, and well, I, I, you know, I love vanilla coconut uh, ice cream, uh, I, the last thing I want to do is blend in. And in fact, the last thing you want to do if you want to make money is blend in. So, uh, okay. So then the third thing to speak to the, the unconscious, the subconscious brain is to speak stories. So I often tell stories. I just told a story on my Facebook page today about a homeless guy that I came across, uh, you need to tell stories so that, um, you know, so, okay, so this is very interesting, but you cannot, um, people are like, you know, living their own lives and in order to interrupt what's going on in their brain. So just like you, you're having a conversation with yourself right now. You're only half listening to me, but inside your head, you're going, I got to do this tomorrow. And, oh my God, the kids are done and I got to do this. We have 60 to 80,000 thoughts a day. So you're, um, you're trying to break through that thought. And the only thing that can break through that thought is a story, which is so fabulous because um, I, I am sure that you have lived a lifetime of stories. And the more that you can understand how your life and those stories in your life relate to helping your BBFs, the more impactful your marketing will be. The more that you'll be able to speak to that emotional brain that makes the gut decisions, the more you'll be able to attract the people who can hear you. Because when you, then when you speak and you tell that story, it engages them, it breaks that thought pattern, and they, and they are moved. So that's a very um, important thing for you to remember just in general. And, you know, you can use that in your life. You can use that, you know, whenever. But you, you have to understand how powerful those stories are. And, and this is just a side note, and this is just my personal belief. But, you know, I believe we were given this life in order to, uh, to share it. And that all of our traumatic experiences, um, all of our challenges... And the things that we've overcome, uh, those things are meant to be taught and shared because they help somebody. And so, uh, you know, um, this is, this is, this leads me to number two, which the second thing that you can do is to love your BBFs. Actually, don't just think of them as ideal clients. Think of them as your best business friends. Love them so much that you want to, uh, you want to guide them. In fact, uh, I would like to say that you see yourself as a trusted advisor. That if your business is positioned correctly, you, you care about these people. And you know why? Because if your business is positioned correctly, you're actually doing something in your business that has a deep meaning to you because you have overcome it. This is a very powerful thing to implement in your business because, as I just said, your life has meaning. And, you know, if decisions are made in the emotional brain, stories are, you know, the thing that breaks through that thought pattern, you don't have to sit there and think, you know, what am I going to do to market my business? You just understand how your life relates to your business and that's your marketing. You understand the, the pain 
that your ideal clients are going through, that your BBFs are feeling, you understand it so well because you have lived it. And when you do that, you can speak directly to the emotional brain because you understand that pain. You, you can say the words that they say because you said them yourself. The lesson that we teach is the lesson we need to learn over and over again. So just because you've overcome it doesn't mean that you're not like living a life of having to overcome it. You know, our lives are formed between the ages of zero and seven. And that means that those patterns are ingrained inside of you. 95% of human thought is repetitive. 80% is negative. You know, if 50, over 50% 50 of, of human hab, uh, actions are habit. So if all those things are true, then you're basically, um, you know, having living this, this Groundhog Day over and over again. And so, you know, this is often where I see people losing their confidence because they feel like they're still challenged with what it is that they're challenged with. But in actuality, that's just being human. And it's a gift because it makes you understand your BBFs so well and it gives you a cause. So, you know, you don't have to go and support, you know, uh, animals and all of that, although I would recommend that. But you don't have to go and do that because you have your own cause. You have your cause. I have a personal cause, and you know what that is? To teach people, to teach you how to stand in your value. And you know why that's my cause? Because all my life I have fought to understand my own value. You know, when I, was, uh, when I was five, my neighbor called me Chink. Every day I would walk to school, so I never understood my identity until a couple years ago. I'm 48. I mean, that's, you know, kind of insane. But um, I understand the pain of not understanding your value. It makes me cry. And I, I don't just say that. Like, it literally makes me cry. I'm, I, I become very emotional because I understand the pain that caused me. In fact, it caused so much pain inside of me that my cells express themselves differently and I got the severe autoimmune disorder that I'm, I'm working so hard to change the way my cells express themselves through my mind. This is so important to knowing that you have a cause and you have a reason to help these people. So this is about being picky niching down and understanding who your BBFs are so that when you speak, they listen, they hear you. This is how you get, develop your raving fans. You don't need to speak to the world. You need to speak to one and that person will grow to two and three and then they'll tell two people and they'll tell two people. That's, that's the way it's supposed to be. And so I said this the other day, if you want to um, watch that, that video, it's on my YouTube channel, but shift the paradigm of how you think of your work to a place of service. If you feel like selling is sleazy, shift the paradigm of your work into service, to serving your ideal clients and loving them so much that you want to fight for them. I'm needing a cause, man. I'm introverted, but you know what? I will fight until the end. I will speak. I, I will scream it from the mountaintops because this is my personal cause. What's yours? Who will get you past your introversion? What will make you get up on video? What will make you so passionate that you'll stay up till one o'clock at night and wake up at four just to message people? Because when you know that, fear becomes irrelevant. Number three, and this is what this whole thing is about, is to know your value. If you don't know your value, you can't have a money mindset. <laughs> if you don't know your value, then you're not, you don't know what people are paying you for. Then you're just selling something that is external outside of you, and you don't understand how you fit into that whole picture. People don't pay you to make money. They pay you for something they value. And you could go away and do, you know, spend millions of dollars on research and maybe then you may find something that people value that, you know, that's not true to you. Or you can understand what your value is and base your business on that. That's what I call positioning. 
positioning is not only understanding how where you fit amongst your competition in the minds of the, of your of your BBFs, but where you f where your business fits in your own mind, because people pay you for your value. In order to have a money mind, you have to have and understand your value. When you understand and can walk in your value every day, nothing can hold you back. And it's how, what people pay, excuse me, pay you for. So, you know, those two things to me are the most important thing. It wakes me up out of bed every day despite my health condition. Uh, jumping out of bed to get over my severe health condition issues in the morning so that I can go and, and work in my business. If you don't love what you do, if your work, and I'm not talking about, you know, the result you get with your clients. If your personal work every single day from the things you hate to the things you love doesn't excite you and inspire you, then something has gone wrong. Because we weren't given this life to spend our lives in a tedious business. Otherwise, you should go get a job. <laughs> because having a business is, is, involves a lot of deep work. It involves um, understanding the lesson that you teach is the lesson you need to learn every day. It's about going through that pain and struggle because you have a greater cause for getting over it. It's about understanding, you know, your own life challenges and then teaching that to other people because they have life challenges too. They don't just have a life looking for what you sell. They have a life like, you know, productivity. How do I get the kids to stop screaming? You know, what's for dinner? Uh, how do I get rid of this health condition? You know, what, what, what else has your life been here to solve? Because... Your marketing is not just, you know, an email list. It's not just a sales funnel. And it's not some cold external thing. If people pay you for the, something they value, then you need to have something they value. And, you know, if, if you want to understand your value, then understand how to have a business that inspires you. Make your business inspire you. Understand what it is, you know, if you hate something about your marketing, change it. You don't have to do it all. I never did an automation thing for my social media. I tried Hootsuite and Buffer, but I feel so fake. I want to do it live. And you know what? It holds me accountable. You know, I, I go on my Instagram after my active focus meditation. I go, you know, I do it at night when I go to the dog park. I don't, you know, I don't pay a lot of attention to Twitter because, you know, it bores me. I don't spend a lot of time in Facebook groups because that de deletes my value. Makes me feel less than. I love my Facebook group. I, I, when I, when I, and I had zero people in it, I told myself, I'm going to post in here every day to inspire myself, to keep myself accountable. If no one wants to join, I'm going to do it for me. And, you know... Uh, people joined, and is it the largest group? No, but uh, I love it. I love what I do, and you know, I love my clients. I I, I am brainstorming all day and night about them, and uh, my two new um, position to sell clients are like on fire. Like I have so many ideas for them. So, you know, this is about positioning and you don't have to work with me. You can go and work with other people, but I want you to really go back and, and re-listen to this live stream and implement those things that I taught so that you can uh, get your money mind on and get your business positions correctly. And if you really want to dive further, uh, listen and watch my, my free class, which is that positioned dot total genius dot net take the seven day challenge that's on the other side of that there's a free teleclass on the other side of that uh, about um, selling uh, an intangible selling intangibles which is you know your value and uh, you know I actually just launched a new one-on-one uh, -on -one mentorship 
hybrid course uh, called Positioned to Sell. And if you're interested in that, you can go to Positioned to Sell, all one word, no spaces, dot totalgenius.net. It's a one-on-one -on -one hybrid mentorship. You get a two-hour session with me, a deep dive workbook to uncover what your value is and what your critical positioning is. We work together to strategize it into your business. Uh, you get a um, complete guide to high converting copywriting. You get uh, a deep dive into your BBF ideal clients, where to find them online. You get an email template, not only for the emails before your webinar, but after you sell a product to get your product sold. And you get a free uh, uh, webinar template based on how the brain works. And if you sign up before Tuesday, so if you, I don't know whenever you're watching this, but um, Tuesday the 16th, uh, you get an extra 45 set minute session with me. So, you know, I'm a copywriter, I'm a strat strategizer, um, you know, and I, and I take really good care of my clients. So uh, chances are I'll be um, watching over you. So if you're interested in that, you know, uh, it's position to sell .total -genius net. And uh, I, if nothing else, watch the webinar because I give away uh, an entire system and there's a free download. Uh, that's it. Please share this with anybody who you think needs to uh, understand what, what a money mindset is. And um, let's, you know, get you positioned to sell. Uh, this is, you have a business. And if you don't like making money or if you don't like selling, then uh, maybe having a business is not, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I actually heard Tony Robbins say, there's some people that aren't meant to be an entrepreneur. So, you know, you really need to understand yourself and, uh, and take on the challenge or don't. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with people that have jobs. You know, jobs are great. They give you a regular paycheck and I've seen a lot of really great design jobs. Uh, it's certainly a lot less work than being an entrepreneur, right? So anyway, uh, have a great uh, Sunday, Monday, whatever day it is for you. And have a great week. And, you know, get your money mind on. And if you want, you can come join me at the Genius Collective on Facebook. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.